Welcome to Classic Game Room, where some guy named Ken Griffey Jr. autographed this Super Nintendo game in red and yellow ink. He's got a really nice signature too, check that out. From 1994, it's Ken Griffey Jr. presents Major League Baseball. Ken Griffey Jr. Everybody in the world knows who he is, except me. Not a clue. In fact, the only thing I kind of know about him is that he's probably not related to Dale Earnhardt Jr. But uh, who can say? Anyway, this is a baseball game, which is a sport like cricket, except they get paid more. For doing what? I have no idea. Anyway, this is the Pittsburgh Pirates versus the Montreal Expos. Are they, are they still a real team? I could Google that, but I just don't care. Yay! Everybody's coordinating their colors in that crowd. The only thing I know about baseball is that Roberto Clemente has a bridge named after him, and I've been stuck on it in traffic. It's boring. The, uh, the sport. The bridge is quite exciting. It's yellow and protects the car from falling in the river. At some point, the period inning ended here, and, uh, well, I gotta tell you, I'm terrible at this game. Absolutely horrible. It doesn't help I don't know anything about baseball, but for what it's worth, it seems like it would be fun. At least it would have been fun in 1994. For starters, I like the music. That's that's something you don't even get in modern baseball games. Filled with their crappy licensed music tracks, I rather enjoy this old groovy Super Nintendo music. He's out. Oh, come on! Damn, that dude's pissed. Anyway, you play offense and defense or whatever it's called in baseball and hit the ball and then uh, try to catch it when the other team hits it towards you. There's, uh, there's no cheerleaders, though, in this game. That's kind of disappointing. Are there cheerleaders in baseball? Yeah. 11 nothing at the bottom of the first, so it's like the real-life pirates, from what I understand. To be honest, I actually think this is more fun than the modern baseball games. It's got nice production values, it looks good, and it plays... Well, you know, it's baseball. It seems like it would be fun if you're into baseball. Actually, it's really hard. Of course, I yeah, I suck at this sport in real life and in video games. If only there were giant robots with flamethrowers crushing these people who keep throwing balls at me. Unlike real baseball, when the pirates are down 29 to nothing at the end of the third, you can just hit the reset button and choose a different team. Like the 1994 Mets versus the Detroit Tigers in honor of Robocop. <laughs> Judging by the information on screen, I can tell that Prince Harry is up next and this guy is Stevie Wonder. Gotta love baseball. The thing is, the movie Major League makes this sport look a lot easier. How do you score a goddamned run? Clearly the Mets are the problem here and not me. So I'll, I'll try the All-Star game. You can also play through a, um, what are they called? Season? An entire season of baseball, a, a World Series, the Daytona 500, and Stanley Cup championships. So a huge thanks to Dylan from Hattiesburg, Mississippi for sending this to the show. Mississippi, which is so super fun to say. Mississippi, lots of I's, lots of S's. Thank you, Dylan. As it turns out, the all-star teams aren't any good either. How about the Milwaukee Brewers? With a name like that, they can't be bad. Game seems like fun, and I've come to the conclusion that I'm awesome at it, except all of the teams suck. So go Pens, it's Ken Griffey Jr. Super Cricket on the Famicom. Yeah.